So about this time last year I decided to go on a lean bulk. I decided that I was tired of being skinny, I was tired of being a, a walking skeleton and that it was time for me to gain some muscle, it was time for me to build a body that I was proud of. And the day today is the 17th of February, so it's actually about a year from now. I think I started last year, beginning of February, so it's, it's a year and two weeks, like, it's a year, like, come on. So yeah, the key word is, I decided to do a clean bulk. None of this dirty bulk BS, you know, where people are eating pizza and then they're going to KFC and whatnot. I see my body as a temple, something I should take care of. My body is my vehicle for success, it's my vehicle for living, it's my operating system. In fact, our bodies are our operating systems. We can have the best life ever, but if our body is unhealthy, then we're going to suffer. Health is literally the most important thing. I know, okay, I'm going, I, I, I think I took it deeper than I should have, but the point is I did a lean bulk. And in my opinion, the lean bulk is the more sustainable route because you gain less fat, you gain more muscle, and you can actually be bulking for like three years in a row because you're not going to be gaining ridiculous amounts of fat and increasing your cholesterol from all the vegetable oils that's in the dirty food. Can you hear that bird? I don't, I don't know what type of bird it is. The point is, one day I'm going to get a mic. Soon, I have a mic, then these birds won't bother my YouTube videos. <laughs> so before I show you that to whoever's watching this, I want you to gain inspiration and motivation from this. Because, it, you know, I tried to gain muscle for years and years and years, but I stayed skinny. I'd gain, I'd lose, I'd gain, I'd lose, and I was always skinny. I was known as, like, a skinny guy. <laughs> Well, I wasn't the skinniest of guys, but I was definitely on the skinnier side. So here's a video of me last year, the end of January, beginning of February. As you can see that there's absolutely nothing going on here. I would, I would say, I would say, right? I have decent triceps. My chest was flat. I had no abs. Well, you always have abs, but my abs weren't showing. My back was small. Like, literally, I was just tall and lanky. So this was a starting point. So as you can see through these videos, with each additional video, I'm gaining muscle. I'm gaining, like, progress. Like, I can visibly see it. And I want you to notice something. Maybe I just analyze these videos too much. But then, with, it's like with each video, you could see me get, getting more confident. You could see me, like, not even glowing more, but just becoming more and more confident in who I was. And why I'm focusing on this is because I want you to know that the more you improve yourself, the happier you will be, the better your self-image will be. It's imperative that you improve yourself. There's no other way to live. Like, do you want to live mediocre your whole life? Do you want to live wishing you could do certain things that you actually can do, but you just don't want to do them? It wasn't a perfect year. I was putting in the work. Luckily, I had a home gym with like dumbbells and a bench and one barbell so it kept me going from February up until late August so I would gym literally every day six days a week I would barely miss days like let's say in a month where I'm supposed to gym like 24 times I would gym 23 times 22 times I was just consistent gymming by myself I didn't have a gym bro it was literally me myself and music sometimes I didn't even have music because my Spotify had expired and then an important part was August. I don't. I think I joined the gym August 26, 2022. I joined a gym called Pro Fitness. And I started gymming with my friend. In fact, he's one of my best friends. His name is Tanaka. Um, yeah, he was my gym bro for like six months, five months. And now he's gone to uni. So I do miss him in the gym. But as you can see, this is now me in the gym. I'm working hard. I'm working hard. And now I'm making more and more progress. I think joining the gym was a cat. You know, it was actually two things. Joining the gym and massively changing my diet were catalysts to growth. From February up until August, which is like six months, I think, yeah, six months, maybe uh, seven months, February to August, seven months, I gained four kgs, just four, in seven months. However, from August up until January, so, numbers, that's five months. August to January, five months, I gained seven kgs. And the funny thing is, that seven kgs, it was six kgs of muscle mass. It was actually, it wasn't, it was 5.5 kgs of muscle mass and 1.5 kgs of fat. So, most of the weight that I gained was muscle. 
What I really did is I invested in education about my diet. I learned everything I could about testosterone, about building muscle, and I literally tailored my diet. It got to the point where sometimes my friends would call me like a Karen because I was like, yeah, I don't want to eat vegetable oils. Side note, vegetable oils are cancer in a bottle. Don't eat them. Don't consume them. <laughs> but anyways, I was serious with my diet. In fact, many a time I was told that I was going overboard, that I was doing too much. And maybe I was doing too much, but in the end I got better results than anyone who was saying I was doing too much. So perhaps doing too much is the way. As you can see, gaining muscle, becoming more confident in myself. And now this is what I look like now. The date is 17 February. The video probably won't be from the 17th of February. I'll just make sure it's within like the past, it's like within two weeks of this video. So yeah, it'll be from February. As you can see, I've gotten maybe a bit chunkier. You have to trust the bulk though. So I started this bulk last year in February, I was 69 kgs. I would assume I was about 20% body fat because like I had barely had any muscle. And now at 81 kgs, I am 18% body fat. So I've probably lost about 2% body fat, but gained a lot of muscle. So I would say it's an, an amazing bulk. And for anyone who's bulking right now, for anyone who's planning on bulking, who's about to go into a bulk, lean bulk. Because I promise you, if you lean bulk and you're serious with your diet and you manage to get the same amount of calories in, you will have better progress than anyone who you're gymming with. People will accuse you of taking steroids. And you know, people will be like, oh, you're discrediting my hard work, but I love getting accused of taking steroids because it shows just how much progress I've made compared to everyone else just how efficient I was with my diet, with my training, with my health. So if you want a video about my diet specifically, like training, training would take 30 seconds for me to explain. I'll explain it now. Progressively overload, make sure that you're pushing yourself all the time. Train for strength. I know people say don't train for strength, but train for strength so that a few months down the line, when you're actually doing 12 reps, you're doing 12 reps of a heavier weight. So in a way, I know it's bro science, but in a way, you will be doing more than you would have if you're just training for hypertrophy the whole time. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope it inspired you, and I hope you're gonna decide to start your own bulk. I'm probably gonna continue, I'm 81 kgs now. I think I'll go until I'm 85, maybe 90, but I'll probably go to 85 and see how I am there. Cut for a bit, and see you on.